so this is the front of your pants okay so now we're gonna draw the back of the pants so for the back of the pants all these line here need to come out half an inch or one centimeter right so all these line here need to come out one centimeter bring it out one centimeter all these line here or if you want you could carry it out an inch it depends on how wide you want your pants but i will bring my own out one centimeter or half an inch and you come and you connect this line up to here so this would be the back of the pants the back would be in a different color so the back always is one centimeter wider because this is the back so now we're gonna come out all here come out here one centimeter and this is the back of the pants we're doing one centimeter one centimeter and you're gonna come and you're gonna connect this line here so we're doing the back of the pants now doing the back of the pants here then we come in and you're connecting the one centimeter here one centimeter coming and you're connecting this connecting so there's one centimeter and you connect up to here we connect up to that so now we're going to measure up so we're going to measure up right you're going to measure up here three centimeter or one and a half inches so we're measuring up three centimeter um here so if this have to come out one centimeter from here you're going to come out your one centimeter and then you're going to measure up three centimeter which is here okay so now we're going to connect this line to this line here so connect this line to this line here okay so now we're going to measure this line here so measure this line here and we're going to divide it the black line we're measuring we're going to divide it in half so you're dividing the back black line in half and you're putting the mark in here so now on both sides of this marking you'll put three quarter inch or you'll put one and a half centimeter if you're working in centimeter okay and then you're gonna draw in a line here okay we're drawing in this line here and we're going down um you're gonna measure down You're gonna measure down four and a half inches or five inches it depends i'm gonna go down 12 centimeter okay which is five inches so i go down an inch lower than the front dart so now i'm going to come and i'm going to connect here connect here so this would be my dark back dart this would be my front dart so now what we need to do now for the crotch measurement we need to divide the front half of the front crotch forget the back so this is the front crotch here my front crotch is four and a quarter inches so i'm gonna divide that in half in half and i'm gonna put it right here to get the back crotch plus i'm going to add half inch or quarter inch to that or one centimeter so that would be my back crotch now i'm going to measure down what two centimeter here and i'm going to make a mark for the crotch so i'm going to line up here 
and I'm going to draw in a, just a guideline. This is just a guideline there. All right. So now we need to get our ruler and we need to connect this to this to get the back. So you can do the back two ways. You can do the back like this or you can do it like how I am doing it here. Okay. You can do your back two ways. You can do it like this. Like that. You can connect you back home. Okay. So it all left to you how you want you back to connect. Okay. So. What we're going to do now. We're going to. Seeing that we don't connect here. Do all this. Other than we're going to connect the crotch. So you're going to get your measuring tape and you're going to measure down half inch from this crotch line here. Half inch to an inch. It depends on how, um, how large your bottom is or how big your bottom is. If you have a big butt or so, you measure down a card in. But me, I'm going to go down half inch. Right? So if you, you could see me half inch, is in line with this line here. Depends on how big your butt is. So now I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to connect it to this line here. So I'm going to do this in another color for you where you guys can see I'm going to do this in a red and I'm going to connect my line. Let me shape this up properly. I'm going to connect this line. Let me shape this properly. So this would be my back. This would be the back of my pants. This one here would be the front. So my back cut would be half inch down. Okay? No. So now you connect this and now you carry it out here. So I connect this round. This is supposed to be quite here. So I come in up in line with this. I just put this as a guideline for make this in line with that. If you want, you can situate your thing like this and you can bring it down to connect that. But remember, this here had to come and join that. Okay? So it depends on how you want it. You could leave it like this. You can leave it and connect it so right so this whole thing would be your crotch like that but I need my own like this here to shape it properly so my own will come like this that was just a guideline here and you see it come back and it connect so this would be my crotch here because I have a big butt so this here is just a guideline here we do here so we can get it in line with this half inch. But this have this is my back crotch here, the red, and the black would be my front crotch. Okay? Because I have a big butt. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna connect the back to this line. Yes, yeah, so now sometimes it depends on how the shape you can take this here and you can curve this back here so we're gonna curve this line here you just have to get this match up properly right it all depends on the shape of you okay so you're gonna come and you're gonna curve this here all depends on your shape you come and you curve that to get the pants okay so you see the black will be of the, the this here is the outline but the black here will be the front and this will be the back. So now what you need to do now, you need to come and connect this to this here. So now I will connect the waist with a different marker for you. Okay? I'm going to connect it with a different marker for you. You have to come and connect this to this here. So you're going to know the back from the front. Alright? You will know the back from the front. You come and you connect kit. So this here measuring up. So this here is one centimeter. You come and you connect this back from this front here. Right here. you're connecting make 
connect it properly so this one here is the back this one here is the front so now you have your back and your front pants here so this is the back right and the front you have here so when you're gonna trace over this on two different piece of paper so you can get the back and the front all right so you're gonna trace this over trace out the back or if you want you could trace out the front and then you keep the back so you trace out one on a different paper you try outline the back trace it out remember even up all these marking here all these marking here you're gonna come and you're gonna even it up all right we come in and we evening up these marking here all right so you come in and you trace out the back on a different piece of paper trace the back out on a day on the dart so trace it out on a different piece of paper okay so you have your green line so this would be your green line All right so the blue is, is is front the black is back so this is how you draw draft the pants so this is the basic pants outline here okay this is the basic pants outline this is depends on how you shape sometimes your own would be more in it could be more out it could be more in it could be more out it all depends on your shape i chart and i tick so my pants would be very much different so when you um so always keep this as your basic pants Tra trace over these two and keep this as the basic foundation so you can go back to this okay so this let me show you when i trace it out what it will look like so i have my original one which i trace out already so i will show you what it look like all right or you could get white paper and you draft you trace out your pants so when you don't trace out your pants this is what your pants will look like you see i got two pieces of paper here so I trace so me pants so you see the back and the front right I trace it and then I come and I trace out my pants here so this is my pants I trace so to you so this is the front of the pants and this one here is the back of the pants here okay this is the back of the pants so I trace it in two different colors okay so this is my pants now I ain't add any seam allowance to this pants here as yet all right i ain't had any seam allowance now this is the drafting of the pants now when we ready to sew this pants together and we ready to you copy your pants you better make sure you copy it on a fresh two fresh piece of paper first to have two the back to have the front and then you're gonna have the back so when we don't when you don't copy it we're gonna get into how to make your pants fit you well so this is the drafting of the pants so we just draft the basic pants so this is the drafting of the basic pants right so go ahead copy this pants on a fresh sheet of paper and then we're gonna come out we're gonna add seam allowance and hem allowance to your pants okay in my next video i'm gonna show you how to add the seam allowance how to add the hem allowance on to your pants and then cut it out and make a mosla a, a trial pants to see how it will fit you so i hope i was able to make this class easy and quick and i hope you enjoy these classes and i will see you next week in my next class so we are going to add the seam allowance and so on and fly front and so on to this pants next week god's will so thank you for watching and you have a blessed day. Okay, bye-bye and enjoy.